Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Justin Lovely Tarot. So good to see you guys here today. Today's video is going to be for my Capricorn. So if you guys resonate with the video, like, share, and subscribe. If you guys want a personal reading, hit me up at JocelynLovely84 at Gmail. Alright guys, I'm using the Black Moon Astrology cards and then the Starseed Oracle deck. We're doing four cards again because there's so much info in these cards. I'm getting so many downloads. For you guys, uh, congratulations. You guys have activated inner child. Jupiter, abundance, number seven, right? Uh, we talk about the holy number. This is heaven, heaven sense, expansion, Jupiter energy, right? It's like boldness, creativity, right? Because the planet's also like red, orangey, right? So we talk about sacral energy. We talk about red energy, which is like the confidence, the creativity unleashed, the best version of you or the potential of who you can be has never before been seen until now. And the only reason you've been able to do that is because your inner child's been activated. So when that happens, what happens? Imagination goes full blown. It's it's like, remember, that's the, why do you think they call it God? Like, uh, children are the purest or they're like the closest to God consciousness, right? Because to them, they don't have limitations, right? When you, when you see a child, they imagine and, and it's like they manifest like that. Children get what they want. They're persistent. They go after anything and everything. They're not afraid. They even if they are, they face their fears, right? It's like it's like they just they're they're out there, right? They believe in a sunny day and rain or shine. It's a sunny day for them, right? They make the most out of that day, and I feel like this is you right now. Uh, so this ch child energy is being activated within you, or some of you guys actually have children whom you maybe, uh, again, maybe if you're new parents or you've been, you know, parents for a while, it's like, it's like your children all of a sudden, your bond with them has like become stronger. And, and that's only because there's more attention to detail when it comes to you and your children or you discovering your relationship with your children, deepening it, um, getting to know who they really are accepting them as they are and it, the only way, reason that's possible is because you also activated your inner child so remember how much abundance you create not only for yourself but for the people around you right uh, your relationships are happy because if your inner child's out then your relationships inner ch your partner's inner child will come out too right but anyways this is really about you and like your relationship with your children and just having a more open-minded day in general right so this is why we talk about abundance right but it's like having the confidence to unleash it the next card is Sagittarius I see see this this person's bending over backwards he was very like uncomfortable and that's only because I think the universe or your demons or some part of you is trying to tell you to slow down and to stop to look back because I think you guys were trying to go full force right with Sagittarius energy we talk about the the I think it's like a horse the half of him is horse, but it's it's instinctual energy, right? It's fire energy. So you're moving forward towards your life, trying to complete, accomplish, um, be. But it's almost as if, and I've mentioned this in other videos, where it feels like some part of you was telling you to stop for a second. You're you're missing something. You're 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 lacking something that you you can't move forward right now because you you just didn't want to. And the reason why is because you realize that you left your your inner child behind. Or your child behind, right? Because look, the child's right behind you. And it's like you're finally looking back and checking in on what your inner self was trying to tell you this whole time. Right? Some of you guys were burnt out, tired, exhausted, and didn't know why your inner child was lacking. So here it is. You find it and you're like, yeah, that's right. So you have the seal of approval. You understand you can't leave without your inner child. You need it for this next phase that's coming up, right? Because you understand that in order for you to conquer, in order for you to be successful, you need to have that belief that you're, go that you're gonna make it no matter what, right? So children go after what they love. They do what they love. And then everything comes to them after, right? They, they don't even care about the concept of money, really. It's all about what they can get out of the, out of the day, right? So the next card is Saturn Truth. It's almost as if you, you, you're understanding that. So then you go back, or it's like you're, you're, you're full-fledged now. You can go forward. And it's like you know that you have the discipline that it takes for you to go and, 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 and pursue your dreams. 
that's what you were missing, right? Maybe you had a, a really great schedule. Uh, you were you were the most devoted. Again, you're just so fearless, right? And, and just ready to take on the world. But it's like, you're you tapping into your inner child. It's just going to make you like invincible. Nothing can stop you. It's like, that's what you were missing in the equation. And you finally figured it out. The next card that comes out is the golden children, inner child, tenderness, innocence, rare gifts, right? This is what I'm talking about, unleashing those gifts. You're stepping into this portal, right, with Saturn energy. It's like you're disciplined enough to go through, right? The sky's the limit. And so you, you make it through this portal and it's like, look, all these children, it's like you finally meet your kin because your inner child's activated. It's involved, right? You're going after your soul calling. You're going after the things that make you the happiest. And now your, your inner child's activated and you can go play, right? Look at this, discovering who you really are, what your potential is, what your gifts are, and then sharing that with the world, sharing that with your own children. This is you and your children, inner child and your children playing around, right? Um, if this isn't that, it's you having fun, having fun, enjoying life as you were always meant to, right? But sometimes we forget, sometimes life gets to us, sometimes... We grieve sometimes we're just missing something right from the equation it's like once we figure it out we're set these are cards it's a lot of cards i'm just gonna keep shuffling that was four cards we saw some time how y'all doing today I don't know if any other cards want to come out. If there's anything else. Oh, yeah, look. A lot of orange in the background. Sacral energy. You guys are about to, like, uh, you guys are about to uncover how talented you really are. And it's going to scare you. I think, I think you've always known, like, how good you really are, whatever craft you're pursuing. But you're about to unleash it. It's like you finally have the faith that you can do it. And so you're scared, but you're going to live it out, right? Your fullest, highest potential, you're about to live it out. You're not alone. Isolation, physical connection, and community. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like you're tapping in. You're in children, right? You're tapping in to this, like, energy that you've never... I feel like you've, you've, you've been able to pick up pieces here and there with your inner child, but this is a new level. This is a new, like, a new sense of worth, a new sense of self-respect, a new sense of love. And so here you are tapping into that, the most high, and understanding that you're here and you're, you're, you're fulfilling your soul calling and mission as you should. But it's like, I'm telling you, it's like, it's this fear of, of living out your fullest potential, right? It's like, the thing we're most afraid of isn't, like, failing, it's succeeding. People say, and I didn't really understand it, and, it, and then one day it actually did make sense. What if you are actually supposed to be the most successful you can be, right? Because you were always meant for greatness. But did you ever believe you were? Some part of you did, but you were afraid. And now it's like, that's done. Whatever that fear was, you conquered it. And now you're about to go out there and live your life to the fullest, man. You're about to... I'm telling you, you're about to do some great things. Oof. Embrace your weirdness. Face your true north. You're not for everyone. Well, that's true. I mean, we're not for everybody. But look, person's dancing. You're going towards like, it reminds me of the full energy, right? Leaping off and just just dancing to life without any limitations, without any preconceived notions. Like you, you, you're taking that fear with you. And you're jumping. And you're going to create and live your life. Live your life. All right, my beautiful Capricorns, that's all I have for you. I love you guys.